Hi everybody, it's Angie, Treasured Vintage, bringing you a recorded haul video and my Etsy sales for the past day or so, and a couple of pieces of Sarah Coventry that I will throw in at the end and identify them in the little smaller catalog that I have. So let's get started on the sales. It's all about the earrings. So these nautical ones I've had forever and uh, I'm glad they sold finally. These and these went to the same person. These are like wedding cake bead, art glass, vintage dangles, really pretty green. Those two pairs sold with the 15% discount for $37.40. These are Trafari discs, like uh, with the crown, I'm sure they're old. Um, these sold for $20.40 on sale. And these really, really cute sun hat earrings. Aren't they the cutest things? I think they're signed, I forget if they're signed or not. I think they are, but they sold for $25.50 on sale, 15%. So that's my sales for, I think it was today and yesterday. And maybe I'll get some more later on today, who knows. So here's my haul that I got. I spent a good bit of money, but I'm expecting to make uh, over $400, if everything works out right, I hope, because I did spend up, I, I uh, paid up for this, the things you'll see in here, uh, I spent $137, but if I make over $400, which is my plan, I think I'll get close to that if I don't get over, um, that will be fine. So the first thing I want to show you is this Art Deco Belias um, Chatelaine Compact. It is white gold plated. And just look at that cool deco design on there. And it's with the finger ring, which I didn't really, I figured this would be called a Chatelaine of some kind, but I didn't really realize until I did my research that this is referred to as a finger ring, and they would uh, take this like to, um, like flappers or whatever maybe, would take this uh, and, and just have it on their finger when they went to dance and whatever they did. <laughs> um, anyway, this is, and right in here, it's a Lamode. Um, it says down here, and it says up here, Belias, which is, seems like a very good um, quality brand and a very uh, ex more expensive one. Belias uh, 14 karat white gold plate, it says right up here. Uh, and then there's a symbol here, I think it's R and G. And um, the back is equally as beautiful. And it snaps shut like that. It's just a really, a really pretty piece. I'm sure a collector would love to have that. And um, I paid 20 for that, or 15, 15 I think. Uh, here is the other find. I went, I passed this up and I just, I went back to get it and I was just gonna get the watch and I ended up getting all that other stuff. I knew I couldn't go back and just get one thing. But this is a Givenchy watch. Um, I'm pretty confident that it is uh, genuine Givenchy. Um, it's got very nice details on it. And it runs, so that is a plus. Um, the back of it is a little worn, scratched up, but there it is on the back. And it's really, really a pretty watch and it just feels so nice it it's just you can just tell it's quality but anyway i expect 
Hopefully I'm gonna ask like 95 for that, something like that. Uh, and I paid um, 15 for that. Here is a, hmm, what to pick next. This is a 1928 necklace that I had seen down there before, but I wasn't gonna pay like $8 for it. Well, they brought it down to five, so I did pay five for this 1928 brand. I love the design of it. It's really deco looking also. Um, and I love the chain, that kind of the scroll link or um, paper, paper clip link, something like that. There's the back of it. And there's the 1928 hang tag. Paid five for that. I'm hoping to get uh, maybe 30 for that. Hopefully around there. Ballpark. This is this I've seen down there before too, and it's not signed, but I just thought the colors were just so pretty. So 80s um, looking. Those pastel colors and just the way it's made and it's just, I don't know, that part right there I just love, so. And I like the way the, the butterfly is, you know, to the side, the side view of the butterfly, which is makes it so much more interesting than the normal butterflies you see. It's not signed, but it's very well made. Maybe I can come in a little bit on this stuff. Zoom in a little bit. It looks like it may have tried to have something right there, but I don't know why some of these pieces have something that looks like it could have been a hallmark, but then it's not. I don't know why that is. I guess it's a reject for some reason. I don't know. Um, these are, I almost didn't get them, but then I'm like, I think just the fact that they, that someone converted these to pierced and they are trafari, uh, and you can have them as clips or pierced because the clip's still on there, uh, but they just put the fish hook on them. That's really the only reason I got them. Plus, I like the design of them, but I don't usually just pick up Tafari just because it's Tafari unless it's something really special. But these are nice. These are nice. I like them. They're an excellent, excellent shape. Of course, like most Tafaris that you see, so I paid, what did I pay? Um, I think I paid six for those. And I think hopefully I'll get it, you know, 25 to 30 for those. Uh, that might be a little high, but we'll see, 25 at least. Um, this is a very cool, um, what do you call it? <laughs> it's one of the charm bracelets, that's it, charm bracelet. And uh, I ended up taking one of the charms off of here and put it on a pendant because I think I can uh, get more money that way by having this certain charm on a chain. And and then I added, I added this one to it. Because I thought as far as the, sh the size and everything, it looked right with this. Now this is signed and it's something that I didn't, I wasn't uh, familiar with, but that there is an H here. It's a big H, and it's O B C O. So it is House of Bravani, is what that stands for. House of Bravani, and I guess the C O is for company. I don't know, but that's a nice brand. Also, I think it's a U K brand actually. Um. And then we have the the nice uh, uh, cross on there, and then the charm that I put. So I thought that was that was good for a charm charm bracelet. That's good enough for a chunky charm bracelet. Those three charms, like that. So that I'm hoping to get, uh, where's the charm bracelet? 
I hope to get, I don't know, maybe 35 to 40 on that, I'm going to say. Um, this is a Liz Claiborne pin. Um, it's just pretty enameling. I don't think I'll get really a lot for that. Maybe 25 to 30. Um, we'll see. But I just love the the colors and look at the all the little enamel multicolored diamonds around the edge. Really cool. It's got the crest with Elsie and kind of a guilloche type enamel in the middle. And there it's signed on the back. It's an excellent, excellent condition. It's pretty maybe for a blazer or something. Jean jacket, something like that. Um, this bow ring, I couldn't resist. I think that is jade in there, pretty sure. And then the ring is gold plated, it's chunky. Um, it's not signed or anything, but I just think it's really, really cute. And I'll show you what it looks like on the finger. Isn't that cute? I just think that's adorable. So there's that. I hope hope I can get uh see the bow ring. I said 35. We'll see. I don't know. Um, all these are just ballpark, and I didn't really look any look very many things up. I did look some things up, but not a whole lot. I mean, not not everything. I mean, this cute little flower ring is adorable. Oops, here we go. Um, it's not silver or anything. It's just silver tone, but I just think the design is so, so cute. And for spring, and I love, for some reason, I love round rings. Ugh, if I could just hold on to it. Um... Round rings are just, I don't know, something that I like about that shape. Um, and I think that's really cute. Kind of cottage core is a new term that I learned recently from scavenger life. Cottage core is like uh, floral maybe or like um, nymph, like a wood, wood nymph type thing, fairies. Um, that type of uh kind of like a shabby chic type type of thing but uh, it's it's there's a following actually of people looking for cottage core everything jewelry decor everything they're looking for so it's something new for you to be on the lookout for here is a faux opal ring which is really chunky and uh, i just think it's really Really cool. Also, put this on a different finger here. Here we go. Um, yeah, I I had a, a I think a smoky a quartz or something um, that had that that was the same setting and it had a brownstone in it, and I think I sold it long time ago but this is a cool setting it always looks nice with a big big cabochon in it and the rings in nice condition it does have some very minor wear to the top parts here and there or the edges but all in all it's really really a pretty ring now this is the charm that i took off of the charm bracelet and i put it in this I put it on this uh, 12 karat gold chain, gold filled chain, and it's another one of these um, House of Bravani. But isn't that adorable? That cat, it's very, um, looks very well made. Um, and there's the back of it, and it's got that same signature on it the H. The B, the OB, and the CO. I think it's an OB. But House of Brovani and uh, cute as can be cat. 
That is adorable. And it's on a nice chain now because I put it on a gold filled chain. So that should be a selling point of that. Also, I put 45 down for that. Hopefully, fingers crossed, 45. And then there is this cute Egyptian revival uh, type Etruscan, Etrus, Etr I don't know how to say that, E-T-R-U-S-C-A-N. I know the style, but I not sure on how you pronounce it. Anyway, you've heard that before, I'm sure. But anyway, this is really cute. I love the different colors in it, especially the coral and the turquoise look cool together. And then we have some just some rhinestones in the rest of it, and then a faux lapis, I guess. But that's really cool. I'm hoping to get 40 for that too, or around there, ballpark. And I found one of these. It's a Sarah Coventry. It's the Celestial, um, Celestial Necklace or Bracelet. It, um, it's not signed or anything, but um, it is in the book. It's really nice quality um, with the safety chain and all the rhinestones. Now, there are... And I probably shouldn't have picked this up. I just picked it up because it's just so pretty. But there are, you know, a few of these and they're not going for that much. So I would say, I think, well, I think I wrote it down here. One of them was going for $11.20 and one of them for 16 So I am just going to keep that in my collection for a while. See if I can, you know get some more money for it at a later time. Let's see here, we have another ring, which I think is adorable too. I love, like I said, round, <laughs> round rings. And this one has a, like a blush colored, um, blush pink colored stone with four other clear stones at the bottom of it or the top, however you want to wear it. And uh, it's open work. It looks to be plated or at least wash, a gold wash. And it's adjustable and I think it's cute as heck. I just think that is cute as heck. I love that. That and one more thing, which um, kind of a gamble on it, but it's so darn pretty. Uh, I paid, I think I paid 20 for this or 15, I'm not sure. I, th I think probably 20, but it is so so pretty. This is a vintage bull of a watch and it is gold filled, it does not run but it's so pretty. It would be worth um, getting fixed because it's in such nice shape otherwise. The crystal's really nice. Um, it's just really, really good looking watch. And um, look at that pretty, pretty uh, chain on there. Love that chain. And then it has the marking in it, Ben Ross, uh, 120th 10 karat gold filled. I don't know if I said it was 12 or 10, but it is 10, 10 karat gold filled. And um, it's just a beauty. I just love it. So that is my last item of my haul. I hope to get for that. Hmm, where did I have that? I hope to get maybe 80 ish for this. Um, we'll see. You know, I can always put it put it up for that, and then, you know, if it doesn't sell, I'll just start bringing the price down. But I'm hoping, because um, even the prices that, that I'm telling you are on the conservative side of what I have seen stuff go for. So, I mean, that's how I always price on the conservative side, and, you know, lower than most people ask, because I want mine to sell. So... Anyway, that is my haul from the Black Rose Antique Mall. And 
So the last thing I'm gonna do is show you a few, just a few pieces of Sarah Coventry from this little catalog. This catalog is from, let me get my, my Zoom th thing here right. Here we go. This catalog is from spring 1979 of the Sarah Coventry. I got this from um, Debbie and Max. Um, if you're familiar with them, they usually have an auction on Sundays along with uh, Lisa uh, Bliss. I mean, not with her, but those are the two auctions that I know of on Sundays. Um, so I thought I'd show you just a couple of the things that I have that are in this catalog. I have more, but I thought I'd just show you a couple. This one is right here, and it is called Lovely Lady Choker. And at the time, it was regularly $13, and it was $6.50 back in 1979. Isn't that pretty? That's another faux opal piece. Um, signed S Sarah on the back. 1970. You know, I, I have 77 written on here, but this is a 79 catalog, so I'm not sure what that's about. I'm sure I got the 77 from the book. Um, the book that I have, the hardback book. Here is, oops, that's not the page it was in. Where is that page that that was in? This is the silver one, but where's the gold one? Here it is. Flutterby. It's called Flutterby Necklace. And it has all these little, tiny, shiny butterflies on it. So I had a lot of butterfly things this time. <laughs> but, yeah, that's that chain. It's uh, in, I would say, medium good condition. I mean, it's good vintage condition, I would say. Um, then it has this little hang tag on it. And the hang tag says Sarah Cove. But that's very cute. And is there anything else? Um, I'm not sure I understand. I'm not sure I asked you anything. <laughs> okay. Well, Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, watch. Quit quit talking to me when I'm not talking to you. Um, I had a couple things that weren't in uh, the books. And I'm not, I guess this one's in the hardback book. Yeah. I wanted to show you this because it's so un-Sarah. It's so not like Sarah Coventry as far as I am. You know, if I saw that and it didn't, and I didn't recognize that hand, hang tag, which I just found out recently that I didn't really realize either, that that's a little mirror. That's supposed to be a little mirror with the SC on it. Like a hand mirror. I never really took, you know, I never really, uh, that never really came into my mind until someone said that. But anyway, this is not typical of Sarah Jewelry, I don't think, but it is from 1977, and it's called Concord. So that's one of the pieces that I wanted to show. And then there's one more little piece that I think is really sweet. This is um, called Going Steady, and it's from 1961. So it's got a really nice little chain on it, and it's a reversible wooden heart. So that's the dark wood, and then you can have a light wood. And... It's just a cool little pendant. So that is all I have for you. Um, Y'all have a blessed day. And I will see you in the next video. Um, I'll, I'm brainstorming about doing one for my neck messes. Like having all the little charms out. And showing you how I put them together. Um... Yeah, I thought maybe I'd do that. I just don't know how I'm going to do it yet. But thank you for hanging in there and sticking with me. And here's another one I forgot. 1968 Frenchie in a jacked up box. But it's still in the box. The box is awful, but it's in the box. There's Frenchie pin. Excellent condition little pin. 
some flipping crazy. I got some free items plus some things that I won in her auction. Let's open these up. I didn't get my tripod out, so I know the lighting's not real good, but here. What do we have here? That's cool. That's really cool. It's like a an acrylic gray marbled horn. And she knows I like these. She knows I have kind of a collection of these, so they are the plated. Or dipped, dipped leaves. She knows I like those. Those are so cool. Oh my, they're pretty. Oh, I love those. This is another little one. It's it's a little pendant. Oh my. Thank you, Lisa. So thoughtful. That's pretty. I think I can wear that now in a necklace. That's really pretty. What did I buy? I kind of forget. Wow, well, I bought more than one thing, apparently. So I bought this. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. That's that another one of those le leaves, but it's got green and copper and all kinds of like colors in it. It's beautiful. I love that. Love that. And that that was two dollars. And this one was this one was two dollars. It's a little um rake fall with uh fall themed or autumn themed with pumpkin. I think I have sold this exact pin before, so that will be good. This was 50 cents. Oh, that is cute. I have earrings on Etsy, um, these type of earrings, these type of shell earrings, so that'll be good. Maybe I'll redo that listing and add that on a pendant. And these are, these were 50 cents. They're little copper hoops. And that is it. I didn't spend very much, which I'm very glad. It's a beautiful day. I'd have to say my favorite thing. My favorite thing is this. That is so pretty. Look at the colors. Wow. That is pretty. And then I really like this too. And this. <laughs> And this is going to look neat on a chain. So thank you, Lisa. Bye for now, everybody. And uh, have a blessed day. Uh, like and subscribe. At least like or, you know, leave a comment. Because it, it does help my channel. If you wanted to help my channel. And I appreciate everybody that watches. And thank you so much for hanging in there. Uh, I know I don't do videos as much as I used to, but I'm going to continue to do them here and there because I do enjoy um, interacting and uh, showing what I have. So thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.